Kanaan. I am Ahmed Kanaan, a Palestinian artist living in Tamra, in Galilee. Uh, I was born in Tamra. I studied uh, art and design uh, in the Academy of Art and Design in Jerusalem, Betzalel. I have uh, my own gallery. I show my art. And we are sitting in my studio. I make sculptures and paintings. Sculptures in several materials. Yeah, and paintings, I use especially oil colors and mixed media. Yeah, I have many subjects that I, I'm dealing with it. Uh, during my 25 years of experience. So some of the topics are going with me all the time. There are some stories that are not finished, like the, the case of refugees, for example, and the case of Jerusalem, and the relation, the connection to the land, and also to the ancient history of this country, the Canaanite culture. The ancient Canaan culture, that it belongs to the both sides, actually. It's the land, the original mythologies, and uh, a lot of uh, villages and cities today for Arabs and for Jewish where they uh, had the Canaanite names. I use in my art some, some symbols that uh, I use that again and again, like the uh, motive of the key, the key of uh, these uh, closed houses that the refugees still keep it and they dream to come back. The other motive is the refugee that I painted again and again, uh, each time in different uh, variation. Uh, and also the topic of uh, the night, the night uh, which means uh, the savior, the leader that we are uh, longing for. This uh, iron uh, sheets, uh, they are the extra from the small horses. Uh, I use it as mashrabiya, uh, it's called in Arabic. Uh, it's a screen in English. Uh, they used uh, to, to use it in, in Arabic buildings uh, to, to save the privacy for the woman and the woman could uh, look outside through the small holes to see what is going around. I mean, these refugees behind and here, they are, they are the problem. Yes, they are part of the big problem. And they, they are still for somebody to, to save them, because the, nothing is happening, actually. Because nobody wants to see, nobody wants to listen. Not the Arab world and not the Israelis. But it appears somehow. We see it, we don't see it. Yes. I have done a lot of uh, uh, projects in public places, especially in the Arabic uh, villages inside, uh, inside Israel. Uh, most of them uh, were done with uh, children, the pupils from the same school or from other places or from my studio. Uh, we build the things together and uh, mostly uh, there are uh, sculptures that uh, children can use it, can use them. They can sit inside, they can climb, they can work, with, play with, uh, inside it. So it was uh, designed to be part of their uh, uh, environment in the school, part of the garden to be friendly with the kids, not to be an enemy, not to touch, not to climb, not, not just to, to live with, in harmony with this sculpture. Some of my works are influenced from the political situation, especially uh, our situation, the Palestinians inside Israel, and the complicated problem of identity. We have uh, all the time to prove to the others that we are, uh, uh, we have the right to exist. We have to, to prove it to the Israelis, we have to prove it to the Palestinians and to the people in the Arab world too. Uh, because our uh, double 
uh, identity. We are at the same time Arab Palestinians and Israeli citizens. And this uh, sometimes it's good and uh, we can win things from the both sides, but sometimes it's problematic because the others don't know how to deal with us. Uh, I speak to the both sides in my art. And sometimes I, I feel like I'm the bridge to, to make this understanding. We both have the right to exist, and I'm looking for a common future, not separated. This uh, land is very small to divide. I see the future as one big uh, state for all the people who can live equal together as neighbors, as friends, and as partners.